Today, we've got advice for anybody who's ever dreamed of working in video games. And a bunch of cool toy boxes created by the community. Plus a free toy box that we designed for Experiment 626. And go behind the scenes of the Rumble Zone Marvel Battlegrounds Tournament. Toy Box TV starts now. Hey, what's up, Infiniteers? I'm JV. And I'm Allison. And today, we've got a question for you guys. Raise your hand if you've ever dreamed of working in video games. Oh, yeah. I mean, look, we're super lucky to be living our dreams, but we bet there's a bunch of you out there that are raising your hands right now, too. It takes a whole team of artists, engineers, producers, writers, and more to create a video game like Disney Infinity. So we recently took a trip out to Avalanche Software in Salt Lake City, where Disney Infinity is developed. Talk to the team there about how they got their starts and what their advice is for aspiring game developers. They had some really great stuff to say. Check it out, guys. Before I was lucky enough to work here, I was actually a teacher in Charlotte, North Carolina. I was literally working in pest control when I got my first job in animation. Well, before I came to Avalanche, I always, you know, wanted to make games. I love doing games, and I, I love, you know, also making them. So. Part of what I wanted to do was be part of, you know, the games industry. Whatever it is you want to do, if you want to be a concept artist, draw a lot. If you want to be an animator, animate a lot. You know, my whole life, all through grade school, all through junior high and high school, and all through college, I was drawing all the time. I loved monsters and superheroes and ninjas, and, and I just fill up sketchbooks with drawings and ideas. I'd write out short stories. Like there's 10,000 bad drawings in every artist. You have to get you have to get through them. You have to churn through the uh, uh, the the bad stuff to start getting to the good stuff. You're going to need to make a lot of decisions on the fly. You're going to need to not rely on technology. You're going to need to rely on your eye. Develop your eye for motion, for weight, for just everything you see in nature. My advice is just continue to draw, continue to play, like play with clay, like play with. Plato. I mean, that's all that I did was I played with Plato, and then I would draw, and then I would play with more Plato, and then I would get my hands dirty. So, just get out there and and let your imagination run wild, and just keep going. If you if you want a job that has to do with your dreams, just go for it. You know, just find out what it takes to have to to get there. You know, and just dive into it. Apply everywhere you can apply. Get in and at a ground level, and then once you're in the industry, it's you can stay in and. Uh, the sky's the limit. If you, if you find something you're passionate about, just don't believe what anybody else says about it and just go with it and just really embrace that part of yourself. And I think it's, uh, it's what I did and I feel like it was the right choice. We hope that you guys enjoyed meeting more of the team behind Disney Infinity, and we love getting to work with them every single day. You know, one of the coolest parts about the Toy Box is how it allows, well, pretty much anybody to express their game designer side. We recently found some pretty cool Toy Boxes just by playing what's been uploaded to community content. With over 20,000 downloads already, looks like I'm not the only one who can't get enough of this Toy Box. You've got to fight and survive through 10 waves of enemies. It's a great place to practice your combat skills and gain experience points for your favorite character. I went in with a level 20 Nick Wilde and made quick work of these guys. Uh-huh, yeah, sure you did. Hey, now. <laughs> All right, so shout out to Ed Balthus Skywalker on Twitter who recommended we check out this next toy box. Millennium Falcon Free Room, created by That Brown Bat, is a complete recreation of the Millennium Falcon. Whoa, we'll give you a minute to just take it all in. Chewie, we're home. <laughs> it's the perfect toy box for checking out with any of your Star Wars characters, but especially Han Solo, Chewbacca, or Rey. We love checking out new and awesome toy boxes created by you guys in the community. Make sure you tweet them to us by using hashtag Disney Infinity so we can feature them right here on Toy Box TV. We promised you a toy box designed for our beloved Experiment 626. The Disney Infinity team is throwing it back with an adventure for Stitch, who was first introduced in 2.0 and is of course compatible with the 3.0 toy box. In the Stitch to the Rescue toy box, a mysterious alien scientist has arrived in Hawaii and has abducted Lilo and taken her to his ship. Stitch must work with Nani to repair his damaged ship by finding parts around the island while Nani makes the repairs. Once the ship is fixed, Stitch blasts off to hunt down the scientists and rescue Lilo. 
Stitch makes an explosive entrance into the enemy craft and is greeted by the mad scientist, who reveals that he has set this trap for Stitch by using Lilo as bait. The scientist escapes to his lab, but not before setting his bots to attack. Stitch discovers that the scientist's evil plan is to take over the universe by creating an army of mindless 626 clones that he can control. Can you help Stitch escape and destroy the machine to stop the clones and save the universe? I sure hope so, because Nani is waiting back in Hawaii to celebrate at a luau. Step one, save the world. Then step two, catch some choice waves. Look guys, Stitch to the Rescue is available to download right now for free in the El Capitan Theater in the Toy Box or from developers' picks on the Community content menu. Recently, a bunch of YouTubers came together for a Marvel Battlegrounds tournament. Yeah, we had Captain Sparkles, Markiplier, Comic Storian, Commander Holly, and more. The battle was intense, and there was a ton of trash talking. <laughs> I've been itching to see this. Guys, here's what happened at the Rumble Zone Marvel Battlegrounds tournament. I think I should have grabbed somebody. Ah! <laughs> <Ow>! <laughs> oh, my face. I thought it was incredible. I loved the fact that they made all the characters like on the same level. Because I remember when I played Infinity, some characters were better. Some of them you played if you just wanted to kind of like hold yourself back. So I just loved the fact that every character was on the same playing field. So everyone had their own powers, their own abilities. Okay, so so far I've done um, Black Suit Spider-Man, I've done Venom, and I've done Hawkeye. Hawkeye was really fun, and I played Ultron. And I'm I'm okay with Ultron because he gets to fly away. Like when people are attacking, he's just like bye. <laughs> I think Captain America is the most fantastic hero and that everyone should play him and use the shield. I kind of stood it like the corner of the map and just constantly threw it over and over. It was a really good strategy. I, we did get to use the power discs. We used um, the Infinity Gauntlet. Bucky came in and shot some people for us. That was pretty fun too. Oh, Ant-Man stepped on us, a giant foot. So those were good. I didn't even do that much. It was like love tap. Ooh, ooh, I've got the Ant-Man. I did. Oh, oh my oh, 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 oh. It's really fun. It's like a really high energy brawler kind of game. It's super cool. Um, I don't think there's enough 3D brawlers, so it's it's neat to kind of experience that in a modern game or a game that's been made recently. Well, I'm not very good at fighting games, but I went in there and uh, I was instantly amazing at it. Um, I beat everyone to a pulp because I'm super handsome and awesome and uh, amazing at everything that I do. I don't want to give away my secrets because I'm so good and I want to keep that to myself. Uh, well, I'm basically the greatest and I'm doing the best, so uh, my strategy was to take the other people's life bar and make it zero. Yeah, mm-hmm. And that's a wrap. Be sure to subscribe for more Toy Box TV every week and give this video a thumbs up if you love Disney Infinity. Plus, we'd love to hear what your dream career is in the comments. Guys, you really are the best. Thanks for rocking it. And remember, if you can dream it, you can do it. <laughs>